What's cracking peeps? It's the A Train coming back at you with another episode of What's Do It Tackle Warehouse. Unfortunately, I know a lot of you guys can't fish right now, but you got the opportunity to stock up on bass tackle. And for those of you that can fish, I'm gonna get you bit. So to start off, for all you big and tall guys, we got the tall t-shirts. These may not get you bit, but you can look good just like the A Train. Check these t-shirts out. So next we got by Savage Gear, we got the Pulse Tail LB Swim Baits. So this is a 3D scan of an actual bluegill. It's definitely gonna get you bit. I've been throwing the top hook. I just seen this one, the weedless model basically. So with this, you could actually run this through cover, around cover, slow rolled on the bottom without the fears of getting hung up. It's got a slotted belly on here, so that's gonna aid in getting that hook to pop out and uh, just providing bite on that swim bait. So you're definitely gonna get bit. Definitely check these out. These are where it's at right here this time of year. Next by Picasso, we got the shock bladed undressed pro style jig. So with these, it allows you to put your own swim bait, plastic, uh, soft jerk bait, just whatever you want on here. Um, this is designed for extreme erratic action. So you're gonna get so much action in this thing. Your rod tip is gonna pick up all the vibrations on this thing. It's very loud, um, very disturbing underwater. So prepare to get bit with this little bad boy right here. It's also got a uh, good hook keeper on there. So your plastic is secure on there, but whatever plastic you'd like on this, give it a shot. Next by Hog Farmer, we got the Harvester Flex Rig. So this is pretty unique right here. It almost looks like two Bamas in one. Um, what's unique about it is the front wires, it's a softer wire, so it's gonna allow your baits to pulsate, um, giving it just a natural flowing action. And then uh, for California guys, yes, unfortunately you can only use three hooks, but for all you other states, you can basically put as many hooks as you want on this little bad boy right here. Uh, this is truly gonna uh, imitate a school of shad, especially with the shad getting ready for their spawn. So now you got your own little uh, bait ball right here. So definitely give this a shot. Next by a missile baits, we got their Nico weight. So what's cool about this is the uh, little back end of the nail that just pops right into your uh, plastic worm stick bait or whatnot and it holds in there pretty secure. So now you don't have to worry about the little messy glues to secure your weights in there. The outside of it, because of the design of it, that's gonna help roll over rocks, stumps, that kind of stuff. So um, we got a cool little Nico presentation. And this time of year, especially fishing behind other uh, competitors or even weekend anglers, this is definitely when you need to down, downsize your presentation. This is definitely the way to go. The Nico rig, it always gets you bit. 365 days out of the year you will get bit on a nico so with these little weights this is definitely the way to go so check them out by missile baits next by scottsboro tackle company we got the hard bill and the soft bill sniper heads 2.0s so buddy gross did a great job on these uh, little baits um first he took off the screw keeper and uh these actually secure the baits real well with the hard bill that allows you for a more aggressive approach when you got actively feeding fish uh, you need to displace a lot more water, uh, just a super power technique. This is definitely the way to go. It'll get their attention. But you face with crystal clear water, uh, fishing behind a lot of people, and you just need to tone it down, more of a finesse style. The soft bill is definitely the way to go. This one just has that slight little shimmy, just a complete natural action. And sometimes that's what you need to uh, get a few more extra bites on it. So by Scottsboro, Check these out, you did a great job. Next by Swampers, we got the Timmy Horton Elite Jig Head. So, little small, but it's perfect for you finesse guys. It's got the screw on keeper. Put your own uh, little finesse swim baits on here. Just slow roll these bad boys. Sticky hooks on here, you're definitely gonna get bit on these. Anytime you need to downsize your presentations. We all love to throw the big giant swim baits like the A-Train, but sometimes you really gotta scale it down. And this is definitely the way to go. Not only just fishing a swim bait individually, but these excel on a Bama rig also. So got a couple different uses on it. Definitely check these out. Also by Swampers, we got the Timmy Horton Skip and Swim Jig. So this is very unique jig. It actually takes the place of many different jigs into one little jig. This thing, it skips like a stone right here. So for all you guys like the A-Train that suck at skipping, <laughs> fear no more, you can now skip with this little bad boy right here. Um, 
custom skirts. What's cool about it, it's got this thick trocar hook on there. So uh, you're definitely gonna pin those fish to this jig. So anytime you're faced with boat docks or even uh, undercut banks, and you gotta get that jig under there, this is definitely the way to go. Next by Six Cents, we got the Core X swim bait weighted hook right here. So they did a great job on this little hook right here by having a wide gap on here. So anytime you're, uh, you're bit and your bait collapses, you're gonna have a lot of bite on that hook right there. Now with the weight, it's actually a keel design. So it's able to go over a lot of things, over uh, logs, uh, depending on your bottom composition. It's actually going to go over the tops of that stuff. So uh, weedless design, screw on uh, keeper. So attach your favorite swim bait to this little bad boy. Also, uh, even with the lighter weighted models, uh, you could do sluggos, uh, just different types of uh, soft jerk baits on them also. So um, this is definitely a fantastic hook. They did a great job on this little bad boy right here. Next by Megaware, we got the Flex Step Pro trailer step right here. So for all you little guys out there that have trouble getting into your boats, here's the answer right here for you. So um, this little bad boy right here, it's easy to put on. It's only held in by four bolts right here. Easy to take off, to stow and deploy for safe travel or whatnot. But um, this guy has 16 different positions, so you could elevate anywhere from 17 to 21 inches. So getting on and off your boat is gonna be simple, secure. Uh, each position locks in place, and this will hold up to 300 pounds. So um, if you have trouble getting on your boat and off, this is definitely the way to go right here. Check it out. Next by Abu Garcia, we got the virtual fishing rod. So this rod right here uh, connects to an app and um, a little button right here on the back of the rod. You push that rod and you are logged in. It records all your catches, uh, time of day, the weather. So for all you anglers that love to log in all your catches and everything a day of fishing uh, throws at you, this is definitely the rod for you. So look at the link and you can see everything this rod is capable of doing. Thanks for tuning in, and for more information on the product seen here today, click shop or the link in the description below. If you enjoyed this week's episode, hit the like button and subscribe to our channel. Let the A-Train know which of these products you're most pumped about.